<clears throat> okay, guys. Now we're gonna take the papadam, the very thin papadam, put it down. Okay, are you guys ready to hear this crunch? Oh, <laughs> that's so satisfying. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Tonight we are so excited because we will be eating one of our favorite cuisines and taking you guys to a fine dining Indian restaurant. And as you all know, we love Indian food, the rich flavors, and we're always trying new dishes. So tonight we will be trying not just vegetarian, but vegan Indian dishes. This restaurant is called Indian Harbor, but first, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, because with your support, we're able to make more videos. And stay tuned till the end, because little Alfonso has a dance for you guys. And on that note, I'm starving, so let's get in there. just sat down at Indian Harbor and the inside of this restaurant is so modern, so chic and so inviting. You can even see authentic paintings on the wall, beautiful chandeliers and I love what is said at the back about all spices so it's really inviting here at this restaurant and this is fine dining and I can tell you guys it is looking really really nice. So right now we ordered a couple appetizers that looked so amazing and we are going to keep it strictly vegan so today we are going to start with the vegetable samosas. They're crisp patties stuffed with potatoes and peas with herbs and spices. It's probably going to come with some chutney so I'm really excited. And then we got the pakora. So you have to pronounce the R with a D, right? <laughs> and it is a mixed vegetable one and it is crispy deep fried fritters made with ground chickpea flour, herbs and spices. I'm really excited about that because it's based in a chickpea powder which means it probably has a lot of protein and super nutritious. So that's just what we got for appetizers. You gotta stay tuned to find out what we get for entrees. So for our entrees, we got something called dal taraka. I'm trying to pronounce it like the authentic way. Um, we're really excited about this. This is a yellow lentils boiled and tempered with cumin, ginger, curry leaves, and mustard seeds. This is why I love Indian food. The spices are amazing. And then we got the chana masala, super authentic chickpeas cooked in a spicy tangy tomato sauce. I mean Indian cuisine knows how to make really really tasty vegan food. We are so excited. Oh and we cannot forget we got a tandoori roti. We have not tried this before. It is vegan. It's a whole wheat bread cooked in the tandoori oven. I am starving. <laughs> Okay guys, so at this restaurant, they brought us a complimentary papadam with 
tamarind sauce on the side. This is a crispy chickpea. I love this. It is so paper thin. Oh, it just breaks really easy. Take a little bit of the tamarind. Ooh, that looks so good. It's just paper thin, melt in your mouth. Mmm, the tamarind sauce is amazing. Sweet, not overly sweet though, just perfect complementary to this dish. Mmm, that is so good. This is such a nice snack. But guys, I heard there's a very authentic way of eating this. So you gotta stay tuned. We are going to take this. We're gonna crumple it up, put it on that basmati rice with the dal takara. Did I pronounce that right? Takara, tada. <laughs> I'll get it better next time. But the authentic way of having this is over that basmati rice. Stay tuned. So guys, it is time to dive into these beautiful vegetable samosas. Look at the beautiful way that they decorate the plate. It looks so nice. It's paired with a tamarind chutney. And over here, there is a mint chutney. This isn't vegan though, so we're not going to touch this one today. Um, because again, guys, we want to explore just these vegan dishes. But I am so excited. These are all hand wrapped from scratch, perfectly coated. Let's take a look at the inside. Oh my gosh, that looks so delicious. So much flavor packed into this little samosa. Okay guys, let's try it. Let's put some tamarind sauce on top so you know it's gonna be super flavorful. Mm. Nothing's better than a hot, warm, crispy samosa. It is delicious. It has a little bit of heat. I love that. I actually love spicy food. We usually get it a little mild, so little Alfonso can have some. <laughs> but this samosa is crazy good. Let's do it again. I feel like the tamarind sauce just elevates all of the other flavors. It's already punching so much flavors, just this samosa. <laughs> And then when you add the tamarind on top, it is another level. Mmm. Wow. My favorite part is dipping like the little ends at the here at the end into the tamarind sauce. It is so good. It has texture, right? Because it is just really, really nice. Oh, this sauce, guys. Are you hungry yet? It is so good over here. Mmm. My goodness. This is a great start to this amazing meal and we are just getting started. So we are on to the next appetizer and it looks so delicious. Take a look. Does that not make you hungry? <laughs> I love the presentation at this restaurant. I have not tried mixed vegetable pakora. It looks so good. I'm honestly like, why didn't I get this sooner? <laughs> like seriously, look how good this is. Oh my gosh, perfectly fried. I love that it's all like kind of flaky. So this is done in a chickpea flour. Not sure, I think there's spinach, onions, and well, we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> wow, this looks so good. Mmm. <laughs> that was a big bite. Mmm. What? That's vegetables? That is so good. I don't know what I just had there, but it honestly, like, tasted like the texture of meat. But it is so delicious. Maybe it's cauliflower. It has like some crunch to it. Or maybe, I'm not sure guys. That it, You let me know in the comments below what they fry this with because it is so delicious. It's like I'm eating, like I'm not even thinking about meat here, <laughs> which is good. This is the most amazing thing I've had. That is so good though. 
I am so happy that I just found this dish. Um, I can't tell you guys enough how good that is. It feels like, um, you know, it feels fun because you have those crunchy notes. So onions, for sure. Maybe cauliflower, but there is something so crunchy about it that, like, you don't need to have chips anymore. You can just have the vegetable pakora and you are good to go. Mmm! And it's got flavor on the inside. Like, that is, again, guys, Indian food just keeps blowing my mind. It is like you never get bored. There's always something so delicious. Oh my gosh. I just found like my new favorite snack. That is crazy good. That is so good. I can just enjoy this all by myself, but I know the Alphonses are gonna be hungry. So this is an amazing dish. If you have not tried it, woof, you gotta go right now. <laughs> Okay, guys, that meal was so delicious. I want little Alfonso to try it because it is so good. Alfonso, look at this. What do you think? It's nice and crispy. I'm going to dive it into some tamarind sauce. Are you ready? Big Sweet bite. Sauce. Sweet sauce. <laughs> do you like it? Here, put it in. Isn't that tasty? Alfonso really, really likes the samosa, as you could tell here. He loves this and the paparam. And he loves the sweet sauce. He calls it sweet sauce. Here you go. Nice. You like it? Nice. It is Alfonso's birthday on Sunday. How old are you going to be? Five. Five years old? So exciting, guys. So we cannot wait to dive into these entrees. They are coming up. Can't wait to show you guys. So we're here with one of our entrees that I am so excited about because I'm going to eat this the authentic way because you guys have been leaving us comments below. Thank you guys for leaving all those comments about how I should be eating this food. Again, I'm always open to new and exploring cool ideas, so I cannot wait to get into it. We have the dal takara and I'm so excited about it. I was not expecting it to look like this. You can see the curry leaves, you can see the Oh, what is this leaf again called? Coriander leaf? And then we have a red chili. So excited. I was kind of expecting it to be like you can actually see the lentils, but it looks like it's blended. And then we have beautiful basmati rice and we're going to take the papadam and just, maybe I should just show you guys what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so we're gonna take the rice. It looks so fluffy, so fresh. There's even something in here too. Ooh, look at this little star. Oh, guys, I like kind of know what this is, but I forget what it's called. It smells like licorice. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what this is. Oh, I love that though. Okay, so we take the rice. I'm gonna put it on top. Beautiful. Then we're gonna take the dal. Oh, look at that beautiful curry leaf. And guys, look at the color. It is so, so vibrant. <clears throat> okay, guys. Now we're gonna take the papadam, the very thin papadam. Put it down. Okay, are you guys ready to hear this crunch? Oh, <laughs> that's so satisfying. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, we are going to have so much texture with this dish. Okay, guys, let's see if we can get a really good bite here. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> oh my goodness. With the papadam, it is insane. It has so much texture. It has the perfect amount of saltiness. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Oh my gosh, why didn't I know about this sooner? Mm. No way. That is so good though. Guys, sorry, I'm a little shocked about how good it is. <laughs> that is crazy. The dal 
is amazing. I can drink that alone. It has so much flavor. You guys, this restaurant has quality ingredients. Like seriously quality. Oh, I read online that the executive chefs at this restaurant have worked at many high-end Indian hotels. Um, so I can really taste those authentic flavors. Ooh, this is so good. I don't think I'm an expert yet at like how to use my hands, but I'm trying. <laughs> Mm. the rice is so fluffy it just makes you smile it is so good wow i'm really shocked honestly about how this whole combo goes um <clears throat> the papadam is i don't know for me it is just making it so delicious wow wow i want a little bit more of this this is crazy good the dal takat yeah <laughs> i gotta work on that <laughs> oh my gosh this is just too much mm. and when it's fresh you get that actual crunch of the papadam really good so excited about all these new dishes guys everything has just been amazing i mean i haven't even thought about meat for like an hour now <laughs> so good guys okay guys that dal tadka was amazing honestly the papadam just added that perfect amount of saltiness and then of course so much texture guys we are moving on to the chana masala and the roti oh my gosh guys so this is one of the healthiest breads you can have less calories it's completely vegan also notice how thin it is so it's not gonna fill your stomach like the naan will i'm um, really excited about this so let's design our plate so this is chickpeas super full of protein guys you can already see the coriander leaves the tomatoes onions okay and then we're going to have the roti on the side so we're gonna rip a piece okay and we're gonna make a little so the plan is not to touch the gravy <laughs> you just gotta grab enough oh i think i did such a good job look at that perfect wrapped blanket of love mm. Mm, that is so good the chickpeas are exploding with flavor and it's like a little bit of heat too so for me i love that that is crazy good the amount of flavor coming out of this dish guys it's shocking it is shocking so chickpeas can be you know for me because i don't cook a lot with chickpeas i'm not sure what to do with them how can i make this flavorful guys indian food has it right on par that is the most flavorful chana masala i've ever had in my life that is really good and i like the little bit of heat too delicious the roti just goes perfectly though it's like it wraps it perfectly and again guys um i usually get so full with the naan but i think you can have a little bit more roti when you're eating your meals because it's thinner Mm. and the chickpeas are so soft they are perfectly cooked wow i don't know exactly what spices are in the chana masala but it is not boring every bite is just like a new adventure <laughs> a new flavor a new dimension of deliciousness honestly guys wow super impressed Wow, the chickpeas on its own are super soft. Wow, the flavors going on in my mouth are just crazy. This meal has been honestly just expanded like my horizons of Indian food. It honestly just keeps getting better. It is just shocking. So we're gonna sit here, we're gonna enjoy this amazing meal. 
leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Do you think I ate it pretty good with my hands? <laughs> Anyways, guys, we are going to sit here and enjoy this food. Wow, guys, what an amazing experience here at Indian Harbor. We had amazing vegan Indian dishes. They were so authentic, and this cuisine just keeps getting better for me. Anyways, guys, like this video, subscribe so we can continue making content for you guys. And on that note, just keep on dancing.